All right, we're going to do a little video here, just covering. And I've done a couple of articles talking about uh, one just a little bit. The other one was uh, exactly about doing a template. But I um, haven't shown you um, how to go about. There are templates. Um, eBay has templates that are uh, built into the system. Now let me. So I'm just going to start out here. Um, as you can see, I'm already logged in. It's my username. Uh, so we're going to go over here to our selling account. Um, overview, let's see, if we go to listings. It's been a while since I've done this. I haven't tried to use eBay's uh, templates in a long time. Uh, but if you wanted to do that, that's where you would do it. And you can see I've got templates built here. Um, they kept screwing up the categories on me, and I couldn't, I couldn't, or not the categories, but the, um, okay, down here at the bottom of each listing, you're going to have your business policies, payment policy, shipping policy, and return policy. Um, Let me open up one of these and let's see. If you haven't done this, you should. Um, two, two step verification um, might save you some heartache. Keep your account from getting hacked okay now you can see here I just put best as the dummy template name title lighter um, I had all my lighters are ready to use just got to add fuel this lighter shows where so I did have it basically kind of set up like I'm doing now um, similar very similar even had the two links in there but it was screwing up uh, it wasn't it was splitting as you can see it's trying to do it here with this one for some reason it's um, it doesn't didn't have a default payment policy um, so anyway I just gave up on it if you want to try to use that have at it um, I'm just showing you where that's at basically um, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not advising you to to use it uh, I'm just making you aware so to go back over here um, to show you again what my actual purpose for this video is is to how you're going to use a template how you're going to use your a previously created listing for each for the template um, for each new listing as long as each of your each of your listings has the same information um, if you sell things that uh, range widely um, like I've got a few things so if like most of my items here are small the items that I ship are small they're not gonna cost me so um, my shipping policy can always be the same if something varies that I have to change that then I can go in and change that but um, just to go in and show you how I do this let's see let's go this one up okay so once we're on this listing page and you can see and there's your description and everything down here but right up here at the top when you're logged in as a seller you're gonna have these options revise your item sell a similar item change offer settings create shipping discounts what we're gonna do on this particular one we want to look at this 
Okay, I've got both my links in here, which is important to me as far as, yeah, this, this, the body of this description is up to date um, with everything that I want in there. So this is all good information. It's all correct information. The only thing I'm going to have to do is go in here and remove basically that. And um, so anyway, just to show you, we're going to go on up here and click uh, sell a similar item. Okay, so now obviously your title is going to change. Your uh, category, eBay category, is going to change. Your store category may change. All this stuff may change. Your pictures are going to change. You're going to have to go ahead and delete all your pictures. Yes, I want to delete those. And then you're going to have to upload your new picture, just like. But the point of all this is. While you're going to have to do all that on every listing no matter what, what you don't have to do on every listing is right here. Because all this is already here. Rather than typing this out or changing this, this stays the same. This is the same information no matter what I'm selling. Um, it's possible that if I was selling something where I decided to a bigger item and I need to charge for shipping that I need to change this and take the free shipping out um, but that's not the case today um, I'm just showing you how so I've built the description of this listing to include everything that I want all my listings to include the only thing I have to do at this point is to go in here highlight the part that is unique to that particular lighter now it can be whatever it is you're bending on a vintage Ronson whirlwind petrol lighter with engraved initials A um, let's see W this lighter shows where dings and some quirks. Okay, anyway, that part of that's done then. Um, I do some other things now to where I'm going to go in and add a video if I were actually creating a, a um, listing and other things. But as far as if you haven't gotten that far to where you're integrating video into your listings yet, that's fine. The main thing is this. All rather than typing all this body, all this body of this description out every time, you just want to replace what changes. Um, once you've got that, um, then you can go down here, you know, change your price if you need to. Just like I said, most everything else is going to change. Um, or is likely to. Not necessarily if you sell a lot of similar items, but it could. But, like I said, you're saving yourself a lot of work by getting, getting that, all that information into your description and then using it as a template from a previously created listing to sell a similar item for your new listing. Uh, I hope this is helpful. You can um, please check us out at dependableflame.com. You can check us across Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, 
maybe leaving one or two out. 